Hi everybody, Paul Joseph Rovelli here from the Gnostic Church of Light. Today I'd like to talk about the creative impulse that drives the imagination and can bring us to the depth of our consciousness. Indeed, what Jung would call the unconscious and uh, both the personal unconscious and deeper still to the collective unconscious. Now, we've seen in Rosicrucian novels and Rosicrucian art and really novels and art that have gone from that time through and into the 20th century, we've seen uh, the works of artists and uh, these novels uh, mapping the psyche in really inadvertent ways. In other words, I don't think the artist intended to reveal this, the personal psyche, um, nor the collective psyche, but was just telling a story, uh, whether, again, through a novel or through a painting, what have you. But still, we find this uh, psyche uh, revealed. And that psyche is the soul, the human soul. That's what, you know, hermeticism and uh, uh, Rosicrucianism are really all about. So when we get deeper still to that collective unconscious, we get to the archetypal and the praetor natural. It is here where that creative impulse drives us to holy writ. In other words, prophecy can come out of uh, this sort of thing. And that you know, has its own profundity. We see that in works like the Book of the Law, Carl Jung's Red Book. Um, we see um, other attempts at this, I think, to weaker points. Uh, these two works in particular stand out quite strongly. And we could perhaps say that also this might have happened in other times, but have been lost. Certainly John Dee's work uh, in the Enochian got us there as well. So, I hope, again, that this provides some food for thought and gets your uh, research into great area. Thanks again for listening. Take care now.